Hey, how's everybody doing? My name's Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. And this is the Rectech Stampede. Oh yeah. Alright everybody, my name is Tommy and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue and let's get right into it. Quick look. First up is we have some nice uh, roller blade style wheels with locking casters and right off the bat you can tell just how well made this uh, machine is. That is some uh, heavy uh, construction right there and uh, first up is you want to uh, lay your uh, grill down right you want to install the legs first this is basically a quick a walk through uh, installation of the uh, rec tech grill the uh, stampede and uh, you want to get those uh, legs on you've got two stainless steel bolts for each leg right This is uh, easy peasy that uh, even one person can manage this installation. Again, two bolts. This took me about uh, 45 minutes to uh, put together by myself. Basically, it comes uh, three quarters together. And you just got to uh, add the finishing touches, right? And there you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. And this is the uh, bottom tray, right? The bottom tray, again, it's basically uh, four bolts hold this uh, in place so uh, basically you'll do the uh, four legs but not tighten them all the way you'll install the uh, bottom tray and then tighten it all up I looked at a few other grills Camp Chef uh, Pit Boss along with uh, Rectech and uh, Gorilla Grills I'm sure uh, they're all fine grills, but uh, I'm glad I went with the uh, Rectech as this is a one well-built and sturdy and heavy machine. Uh, tilt the uh, grill up is uh, better with two people, but I was fairly confident that uh, I can manage it myself. And uh, Now I felt it uh, easier to install the uh, stainless steel bull horn handles after I had it upright so uh, that's what I did and again that's uh, look at the construction that is some uh, heavy stainless steel right and there's my uh, dog Molly so we know this grill is a uh, Molly approved as you can see uh, this uh, grill is holding a 400 degrees for approximately about one hour on the burn-in right the initial burn-in before you cook anything you'll get all that information from the rec tech website I'll leave a link down below and uh, I can just tell you I've not cooked yet on this grill but it appears to be try well out the built. wi fi control right I uh, went around the block like a nerd and uh, kept it connected and watched my temperature and uh, that all went very smooth so I was uh, happy about that. I uh, also had a uh, problem with uh, two of the bolts. I emailed Rectech. They immediately called me back and they were uh, sending me out a fresh set of uh, bolts so I was uh, also happy about that. Uh, full disclosure, I uh, did pay for this grill out of my own pocket. Right, Rectech has uh, no idea who I am, so my uh, upcoming cooks, my uh, views of this grill will uh, be completely, uh, completely mine, of course. Oh yeah, I like that. In uh, closing, uh, I can say that this grill is a very Weber-like. It's a very well built. It's very heavy. There's a lot of a stainless steel that's not going to rust. It comes with a uh, great warranty. Uh, and uh, that's it. I look forward to uh, trying this uh, bad boy out, and uh, we shall uh, see you soon.